Visitors enter in the historic centre of Banyo Regio through the Porta Albana, opened in 1589, and are greeted by the 19th century church of Saint Bonaventura, who was born here in the 13th century, and was a follower of Saint Francis and his biographer. A long way among pleasant architectures and nice views, to be covered on foot or by cart, will lead you to the cathedral dedicated to St. Nicholas, Donatus and Bonaventura and its tall bell tower. The interior of the cathedral has a baroque decoration and it keeps a shrine with the relics of St. Bonaventura. On the same road you will find the church of the Santissima Annunziata which was originally built in the Romanic Gothic style, but was redecorated many times since. The church is structured with a simple single nave and an abscess with a cross vault, few valuable canvases, tables and frescoes painted between 1400 and 1500, and an elegant cloister in cotto tiles, built in 16th century and with a striking central stone pit. Further is the Tabora Auditorium, hosted in a 1700 church, now deconsecrated, which is the stage of many cultural events throughout the year, and the medieval remains of the ancient convent of St. Francis. At the end of this street you will reach a stunning panoramic viewpoint over the ravines valley and the Civita, the dying town, to which Bagnoregio owes its fame. Civita was once part of the town of Bagnoregio, yet today they are separated by one kilometre, the rift was caused by violent earthquakes, landslides and erosion. Such phenomena still threaten the peak of turf and clay where Civita stands, yet they are the origin of the wonderful ravines characterizing the landscape of the Tevarina Valley. A pedestrian bridge leads today the many visitors over this kilometre of distance, allowing them to reach the borough which has kept a very medieval and unspoilt aspect with great buildings almost entirely constructed in tuff. Narrow roads, arches, balconies, small squares and scenic views make Civita de Bagnoregio a very desirable target for weekend visitors that come here in search of natural Sunday meals and a serene and peaceful atmosphere. The heart of this burg is Piazza San Donato, where the Roman Forum used to be, which is the main church dedicated to St. Donatus, which, although rebuilt many times in history, still shows traces of its medieval origin. Inside the church are 1600 wooden crucifix, frescoes, shrines and other works of art. For those keen to better understand the theme of erosion and slides, we recommend the visit to the Museum of Geology and Slides in the Alamanni Palace in the main square of Civita. Today the inhabitants of the old borough are very few, but there are many bed and breakfasts and restaurants. It is on the first Sunday of June and the 2nd of September that all residents and the inhabitants of the neighbouring town gather in the old square of the Civita in order to celebrate the Palio of the Torna. This mad circular race in St. Donato Square is run by donkeys, which traditionally carry goods to and from the Civita. The donkeys ridden by amateur jockeys should run the square's perimeter three times. The winner receives the drape of the patron saint of the village. <laughs> 